well over 20 years, Jonathan Lossus and his colleagues have studied the remarkably diverse annual lizards that live on the Caribbean islands to understand how so many species and their different traits have evolved. One question they wanted to ask was, what is the impact of natural selection on certain traits, such as leg length? They designed an experiment to study natural selection in action. We took advantage of this wonderful ecosystem here in the Bahamas where there are thousands of tiny little islands. They visited islands populated by long-legged anoles that live mostly on the ground. They took an inventory of all the anoles living on these islands. They caught and measured each lizard and recorded where it lived. Then, on some of the islands, they brought in a predator. A species of larger, curly-tailed lizards that eat anoles. Here's the bad boy of our experiment. This is the curly-tailed lizard. Now, what we did is we added them to half of our islands. These are very voracious predators. What we wanted to know was, what effect would this guy have on the anoles on the island? After six months, the scientists returned. They discovered that on islands with the curly-tailed lizards, there were now fewer anoles, and on average, the survivors had longer legs than the original anole population. This result suggested that most of the anoles that had died in this six-month period were the ones with shorter legs. The curly tail lizards go running after them, and presumably it's the longer-legged ones that can run faster. And so that is an example of natural selection favoring longer legs in the presence of curly tails. Twelve months after the start of the experiment, Jonathan and his colleagues returned once more, and they were surprised by what they found. The few survivors from the initial population were now mostly living off the ground and high in the bushes. And, on average, these anoles had shorter legs than the anoles that had survived the first six months. Much to our surprise, we found that immediately, in that second six-month period, natural selection was now favoring short-legged lizards, that the shorter-legged lizards had survived better than the longer-legged lizards. The anoles had taken to the bushes as a way to escape their predators. Once they started living on smaller branches, long legs were no longer advantageous. Animal species that use narrow surfaces have short legs because it allows them to move with agility to keep from falling off. And so shorter legged lizards are better able to capture prey, they're better able to fight with each other without falling to the ground, and so on. And so natural selection favors those lizards with shorter legs. Lassus and his colleagues had discovered that predation could result in strong selection for longer legs on the ground and shorter legs in bushes in just a single generation. Increasingly, we have learned in recent years that natural selection can act very rapidly. And in fact, natural selection can change directions. When the environment changes radically, selection can change very quickly. 